Sorry, sorry, as I said, I was late. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a producer and I'm a brand new producer. It's my first movie. And um, there are issues between the music company and the musicians. And when I was told, okay, you know, we need this, this, this clause over there and you have to go get it signed. I was like, okay, okay, I'm like, I'm like, I'm And I asked the first SEL, like, what do you think? They're like, boss, this clause means this. So I thought, oh, my point of view, as an artist, would I sign this? And I was like, no, I wouldn't. It's completely, it's completely unfair. So I said, okay, let's not have that there. Let's negotiate it. And it's going to go 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 and it's going to go. And now my release is coming. और अभी वो कह रहे हैं कि अच्छा ये तो अपने साइन करवाए नहीं एंड इन आई गेस इन देयर लेजिटिमेट वे दे आर राइट बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ डीलिंग विद द स्टूडियो एंड द म्यूजिक कंपनी इज वेल मैं प्रोड्यूसर हूं एक स्टूडियो भी है एक एक म्यूजिक कंपनी भी है तो क्या हो रहा है जो मुद्दे हैं बहुत जरूरी है आई मीन वी हैव टू एड्रेस दिस इश्यूज पर ये जो लीगल पेपर वो होता है ना दे हैव सच लैंग्वेज एंड सो मेनी पेपर्स दैट एट द एंड ऑफ इट यू फॉरगेट द इशू एंड यू ओनली आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लैंग्वेज इन द पेपर्स यू नो एंड इट्स रिडिकुलस वी एक वन लॉजिक इज बट सर हमने आपको एक प्लेटफॉर्म दिया अगर ये प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं होता तो फिर आपके म्यूजिक पे की पहुंच नहीं पाता पर ऐसे सर अगर मैं गंदा से गंदा ट्यून आपको दूं क्या आपको लगता है उसकी पहुंच ज्यादा होगी आई मीन क्वालिटी आप पैसे किसके लिए दे रहे हो फाइनल से दे चार्ज करो ठीक है पर क्वालिटी के लिए आप दे रहे हो ना पैसे इसीलिए तो चार्ज कर रहे हैं अगर आप कुछ भी डाल दो आप कुछ भी डाल दो आभान बात जितना भी बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म दोगे कहीं नहीं पहुंच पाएगा वो और अगर एक अच्छा ट्रैक लो और उसको कहीं नहीं दिखाओ और किसी को भी नहीं मालूम कि ये ट्रैक प्ले करे तो हाँ जरूर वो कहीं नहीं जाएगा पर कला आर्टिस्ट की कला जो होती है ना आर्टिस्ट कैन टेक दैट एंड बाय इट सेल्फ टेक इट फॉरवर्ड विदाउट एनी प्लेटफॉर्म फ्रॉम एनी बिग ऑफिस एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव ट Either you compromise, either we both come to a point that ठीक है, what are your demands, what are my demands, let's have a talk over it. I agree, you gave me a platform and that was my platform, my film or my music was very far. Please understand, if I give you a really bad film and a really bad music album, it won't go far at all. You know, and there are there are movies that have come out which have no big face to it, no big budget to it, but the platform. And very recent, in the beginning of this month, that was that one film. It's done very well. Why is it done well? Everyone says, sir, music was very good. Film was very good. But music was very good. We were very good. Now they backed that film up because they had to. And they, the music was amazing. So people loved it. And that film has done well. Point proved. So how can you deny the artist's talent? You have, you can't, why, do you, why do we gain a name for ourselves? Because we give some quality. Now, we worked hard to make that film. So now we, you can't tell me, you can't perform this without permission. You can't show this without permission. What do you mean? And now please explain to me what exactly that means and come to the table, the negotiating table and talk to us. No one's saying, no, I don't want to fight. I'm a new producer. I want to, I want to work with, I'll work with T-Series, I'll work with Viacom, I'll work with all these people over here. I don't want to take what belongs to you and I don't want you to take what belongs to me. And that's all I'm asking for. And one more thing, sorry, I won't take too much of your time. <laughs> Monopoly, monopoly, yar. You can't go anywhere. All the people I'm meeting, whether they be radio stations, TV channels. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, we really respect what you're doing. So, will you support me? You know, actually, if I did that, I'll be risking a lot of what I have over here because it doesn't belong to us. So, there is an obvious. That's why I'm here publicizing it as much as I can because without that publicity, I will go. And what have I done? I have appealed to fellow artists. They have come onto this platform. You can't block this out. You can't stop us. We don't need a permission to do this. And we don't. And we don't need your platform to get publicity. We get that publicity on ourselves. If a singer will say, "Fine, I will go out there and sing and sell my own tickets," and I won't give you that platform, I'll go out myself and market my own movie. I don't need your platform. says that uh, the royalty should be equally shared between the author and the assignee. Now, who exactly would be the assignee in this case? The law is not clear on that part. So, no, if it is no, not the musical... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the law, uh, assignee, one who has signed me is the assignee. So one who has given be? me the contract is the assignee. The producer. Now, the producer has the right to transfer his uh, uh, rights as assignee to any other entity, say a music company or a corporate or anywhere. असाइनी वो है जो मुझसे काम करा रहा है। 
So the music company is out of the picture, you are saying. They, they, they would not, not be entitled to any sort of royalty. No, no, no. If you see, the royalty is equally shared with the performing royalty. I am not talking of the other. बराबर कंपोजर में और राइटर में बटेगी साढ़े बारह साढ़े बारह मतलब वो पचास तो चला गया साउंड ट्रैक का उसका भी किस्सा छोड़िए तो ये जो है ये फिफ्टी परसेंट बराबर बराबर इनमें बटेगी और असाइनी जो है वो प्रोड्यूसर या अगर प्रोड्यूसर ने वो राइट म्यूजिक कंपनी को दे दिया तो म्यूजिक कंपनी एज ए मैर फैक्ट अल्टीमेटली इट कम्स टू Twelve and a half, twelve and a half percent. Okay. Beside, uh, of course, a uh, very complicated will be talking. So, this is a simple thing. Okay, here we are from time stuff. My question is to you. Uh, Vinod Bhanushali is the marketing and publishing head of Tea Series, and he spoke to us on behalf of Bhushan Kumar, and he said the problem. is between ycom and t series and abhay's allegation that whatever he is saying is baseless so i want you to react on that my allegations are not baseless while it is true and this is what i mean in when regards to 1 by 2 this is the case yes the deal is between t series and them now they still want those contracts that i as an artist disagree with so ultimately it rests i can turn to ycom and say you get them signed now i won't do anything But then what happens? Because I don't think S C L are going to say, "Acha, why come they push it? So we sign it, you know." <laughs> so it's back to square one, right? And then the law says that you know, if if tomorrow there is some discrepancy or what not, they have to take why come to court, yeah. So what the marketing head means is that why is Abhay taking a head on with T series? Is that what? He's like? Because I was two weeks from my release. While this is an issue between. The the music industry, which is the only industry united, I'll tell you, in the filmmaking process at this moment. Right. Yeah. I was very stuck in the middle of it, and then to tell me that now you'll have no help. So I'll have a film release with no music in the market. That's the situation right now. And the more I talk, the less likely my music is going to come out into the market. <laughs> right. So. Uh, radio, which is handling it. Yeah. At least I get some airplay, but you never get an album. You never have a CD of it. Ever. Online, nothing. This is not. You're never going to get your. You're never going to get the music. You can never get it from somewhere. You can only download it from YouTube or something like that. You're not going to have an album. That's the problem. You see. Yeah, but how? May I? May I add something? Yes, sir. See, on this here. That's that is the question. See. May May I add something to it? Sure, sir. All these people who are sitting from one end to another, none of them. Has signed a contract except for perhaps uh, Sonu ji who made an album with T series. Has ever signed a contract with T series? We don't sign uh, contract with the music companies. He is right. वो जो contract है इनका वो T series से नहीं है. मेरे ख्याल से आनंद मिलन ने यशंकर इस्माइल लोए ने या मैंने आधार से ऊपर तो गाने किए होंगे ना बल्कि ज़्यादा ही साल. हमने तो किसी म्यूजिक कंपनी के साथ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नहीं साइन किया आज तक वो राइट मगर होता ये है कि म्यूजिक कंपनी प्रोड्यूसर्स को एक कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का ड्राफ्ट देती है और कहती है ये करवा के लो अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है तो ये म्यूजिक कंपनी क्यों स्टेटमेंट दे रही है अल्टीमेटली हु इज दर्टी जॉब They are getting this done by the producer. Yeah. Achha, all right. Suppose hypothetically, we accept what they are saying. So, what is the point of difference? What is the point of contention between Ycom and uh, T Series? Kya jhanjat hai? Wo jhanjat mein kya artist ke rights involved hai ya nahi hai? 
या कोई प्रॉपर्टी का प्रॉब्लम है क्या है दिस इज अन लायर दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम हेलो अभय गुड ऑल्स टू यू फॉर हैविंग हाय फॉर हैविंग टेकिंग दिस स्टेप एंड यू मस्ट हैव डिस्कस्ड इट विद द डिवेल्स व्हाट डू दे हैव टू से अबाउट योर स्टैंड दे फुली सपोर्ट मी राइट नाउ माय ताई जी इज नॉट हियर इन टाउन एंड भैया इज देयर ही थिंक्स हां आई टेल कर ले वेयर इज योर एनीवेज Do you, do you do you see any other way of making it a big hit? What other ways do you see, see to make your music a big hit? Like you know, you can sit down and talk it over, not to the uh, company, but the other ways. Like uh, see, many things go into making a film a hit. Okay, it's not just one thing. Um, one of the most important things is visibility. People need to know this film is coming out. How will they know when they see promos on air? Bollywood traditionally sells on music. You get free airplay because of music. This, yeah, that's the irony. Take the music out of Bollywood. Let's say all these guys go on strike tomorrow. Who will do music? Who will do it? You will make an art film. Like they say, they say this guy is doing it. He is an art film. You know? You know what I mean? Right? So point. The point being that visibility is one very major thing. If people don't know your film is not coming out, they're not going to buy your ticket because they don't know your film even exists. Um, I think this. I why am I doing all this? Why am I get, trying to get as much publicity as I can? Why am I taking support of a cause that I believe in? Is because one, I'm in a corner. I have to get publicity because I am not doing the job that the music company would be doing, which is bombarding my 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 trailers, selling the CDs in the market, spreading the word. Now I have to do that. Fine, I'll do it. Just like I said, musician ja ke music play karta apni audience ke liye. Main ja ke entertain karunga apni audience ke liye. Fine, I'll do it. But then there's a larger issue. While I have to resolve the one by two issue, which is releasing on the 31st of Jan, mm -hmm. I there's a larger issue of fair play. How do we deal with musicians when they have composed songs? Please accept the fact that if it's if it's a good song, is the reason why the platform for it works. A platform is not going to work without a good song. Thank you. And that's why you pay them their royalties. And the the larger issue about smaller producers, bigger producers. Yes, we need to find a brand new. way of doing business there should be different structure this is why i think we can collaborate with artists it's like you know a big producer can pay a lot of money and get the royalties a small producer cannot now choose the films accordingly do one for passion you'll get your royalties either way you have different different structures like i said there should be ticket prices different for bigger films and smaller films similarly even when artists collaborate with each other that collaboration has to run far deeper between artists And take the middleman out. You want to just be ready for the business? Then don't be surprised. You have a middleman, a banya sitting in between two of you. And just uh, since you said there's a way out, like people can download it from YouTube. That's a very good way. So I mean, I said that ultimately, if there's something like that, I've seen some pirated site. I've seen some of my songs. I've seen three songs. Where were they? How did they come on the internet? Par? तो मानो पड़ा कि YouTube से बेसिकली खींच के वो अवेलेबल कर देते हैं अच्छा ठीक है ओके गुड कम से कम सुनने के लिए तो कोई प्लेटफॉर्म है ना सो बिहाइंड द डो यू कैन आल्सो ओपन अ वेबसाइट और समथिंग एंड गिव देम अ गुड स्लैप बाय कैरिंग इट फॉरवर्ड इन दिस वे ऑनेस्टली यस दैट वुड बी गुड आईडिया बट आई कांट डू दैट इफ इट एनीवे सेइंग इट्स इलीगल टू पुट दिस क्रॉस व्हाई विल आई डू समथिंग इट्स इलीगल टू पुट माय म्यूजिक आउट देयर आई जॉइन सर वन मोर क्वेश्चन हु विल बी रिस्पांसिबल इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग दिस रॉयल्टी बिकॉज़ अगेन इट इज नॉट क्लियर बिग वुड इट बी द असाइनी Well, so the uh, the copyright society is the uh, society which is going to take care of collection and distribution of these royalties. So it has to be distributed 50% to the composer and songwriter, which is 25-25, and 50% has goes has go to the assignee. The assignee can be anybody. The first assignee is always the film producer because the artist works with the film producer. Then the producer, if he wants to sell his 50% share to anybody, he can do so. And that somebody will have to be a member of the copyright society, and then claim the 50%. Which society is this? Is in case of uh, composers and songwriters, it is the IPRS, and in case of singers, it is the ISRA, which is the Indian Singers Rights Association. Abhay, uh, hi. I've just received a press release from Viacom. I'll just like to just read it out. It's a bit uh, slightly longish. 
Uh, it says that we wish to clarify that T-Series legitimately holds the rights to the music of 1 by 2 and producers are required to provide them the relevant link documents. There was some misunderstanding regarding the factual positions and we are happy that the same stands clarified and resolved between all parties. Ycom, 18 motion pictures and Abhay Deol being the producers now look forward to the release of music on all platforms and T3 is happy to provide their support to ignore one by two gets the best release possible. So how do you like to have? Well, I'll be more than happy and very happy when my music is releasing. But yeah, basically the onus now will be on Viacom 18 essentially. And uh, T-Series is going... See, ultimately T-Series and the studio have... Like, like Javed Saab said, like, I, will get, I will get SEL, I will make the movie. I will give it over to the studio. Then the studio will deal with the music company. The music company doesn't deal directly with us. We exactly discussed that earlier. And this is the case of that, which is great. <laughs> I don't want to do anything illegal. I don't want to do anything illegal. But legal illegal is very confusing. If you have a music company and you sign it, it will be legal. I don't know if that is true or not. But I heard one word that that's it. If you sign on a paper with someone, then you made it legal by signing on it. Right? Is that true? एक एक ये था कि अगर अगर terms और conditions जो company के हैं उस पर आपने sign कर दे तो वह legal होता ही है। अगर Viacom या TCD is willing to accept the law of the country, then there is no point of difference at all. There is no hassle. There is no difference. There is no conflict. They are asking the musicians and the writers to surrender all the rights or just a second. So they are saying that you sign on a contract where you are accepting that we will, we mean TCD, will administer our, your royalty. They have come one step forward, that they have accepted that Shankar Hassan law has some kind of royalty, but they are saying that you don't collect it yourself. You don't collect it through IPR. We don't want you to do that. We want to collect your royalty. Why? Why do you want to collect it? Which is not the law. The law doesn't allow T series to collect the royalty of any composer or any lyricist. And if Mr. Bhushan Kumar is asking for it, he is trying to break a law. That's all. That's the clause, but I think this And as a matter of fact, even if because of although it will not happen, even if Shankar Hassan Roy signed that contract, then too it is not legal. It's void in the eyes of the law. You read that out again. Again, it is unfair. No, but uh, wait a minute. I think to and uh, this is all very new. The, the statement has just come out now. I'm not familiar with it. But if they say the contracts that they have, they agree with, then I have no issue with at least on on the one by two thing because. They are not being asked to sign anything that they don't agree with. And if the contracts that we have presently with them, they're okay with them, we don't have an issue with regards to one by two. Yeah, yeah. And if they still stick to the old terms, then I think the onus rests on Viacom. If they still stick to two, two, then deliver. So then if Viacom is willing to take that responsibility, then... I guess why comes with it with the responsibility? What do you want me to say? <laughs> because because I know that they've been negotiating and if they were working towards something like this, I said fine if they are gonna agree and I've been running around promoting them, madam. I've not been sitting on my bum. So <laughs> So I, while I've been, they've been negotiating this, they've been keeping me in the loop. And the statement, the final statement, now I came running from town to here. Why do you think I'm two hours late? Dasmin, you don't sit down, two hours late, I don't sit down. 
Can we have the link read again one more time? Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, if that link is there, it's a very welcome uh, news. But the point is, then, yeah. But I still don't even know exactly what the terms... I, I, my understanding was if the contracts have been accepted the way they are, the ones we've given by com, yeah. then there's no issue. But if the terms are still there, if they're still there, then is it that Viacom is now responsible for it? In that case, is Viacom okay with that? Because if Viacom is okay with that, as far as 1 by 2 is concerned, I'll say, okay, I'll agree with you on this one. But as Sona said, it's a larger issue. From here as I go forward, I'm never going to put myself in this situation again. I'm, and we need to find a new platform and that's the thing. We're all held ransom over here. Like with 1 by 2, I'm really at ransom. It's released on 31st of Jan. Hey, but hats off to you guys. Taking your stand. Thank you guys are taking a stand. I said the music industry is united. I'm a bit surprised that no one's in the film fraternity is waking up to the fact that the music industry is completely united right now, I think. What can they do if suddenly tomorrow all of you guys say are fine? We're not going to we're not gonna make any music. I've heard people in the music labels who are friends and friends friends, they claim there are so many people in the country who can make a song. We talk about if it wasn't for us, they would be like in some. There are so many people who want to direct movies and act in films. Actor, कितने आते हैं यहाँ पे? तो फिर किसी को भी अफ्तार बना दो। हम भी तो बरेली से आए। अच्छा जावेद सर, have you put any deadline? अब कालो। अभी असीरा की नहीं दिस आए। there's a line in the press release which we just received. It says, we wish to clarify that T-Series legitimately holds the rights of the music of one by two and producers are required to provide them the relevant link documents. Have you, were you asked by Viacom to give those relevant linked documents and what are those relevant link documents? That's the issue we're talking about. Those clauses, those link documents are the same clause that we're discussing and that they're saying are unfair. That is the thing. That even I'm a bit. I don't want to comment on it because I'm like, how do they? How can they hold it? They haven't got it, which means how can it be legitimate? They say that they hold the rights, but we need the links. But then if you don't have the links, then how do you hold the rights? Somebody from the music company should be able to answer that. Have you not been kept in the loop? Actually, messy. They are messing it up so that. But okay, my question is. Yeah. No, and and the thing is also it's also between the studio and the company, right? A studio is also is dealing. I am not dealing with T series. The studio is dealing with T series, and the studio is following it up as best as it can. So now they have something that they have signed together. I'm not a part of that. I am responsible to give the studio the product, which I have. Okay, let me make it very simple and transparent. There won't be any confusion. Let's not hide or get confused uh, by the heavy terms and uh, uh, this kind of complicated vocabulary. The simple fact is that they are asking Mr. Abhay Devon to get the signature of Shankar Eswan Roy on a contract where they will adhere to T-series wishes. T-series wishes to become the administrator in very, very big inverted commas of their royalty, which is illegal. They have no right to do so and they at least, they cannot force it on the composer. It is my choice whether I want an administrator or not. First of all, besides that administrator, what is the definition of administrator? Administrator, I can have an agent for my work. Everybody has an agent, you know. But the check that will be released by the end user cannot be on the name of the agent. It will be on my name. So the fact is that they want to usurp the royalty of Shankar Ehsan Roy and the right by making things complicated and intricate. Shankar Ehsan Roy are not agreeing. Fortunately, we have a young dashing producer who has the guts to stand up and say, I will not join this conspiracy of injustice against my composers. All in balloony, nothing but big words. The fact is this, no more, no less.